Welcome to Geospatial Analysis. In this tutorial, we'll walk through how to analyze building heights, create digital surface models, and extract building footprints with height attributes using Google Earth Engine. Let's begin. We start by loading the Open Buildings Temporal Image Collection from Google Research. This dataset provides annual building information from 2013 to 2023. We choose a specific year, here, it's set to 2023, and define the start and end dates accordingly. Next, we filter the image collection by date and by location, using a predefined geometry. Images are organized in smaller tiles. We mosaic the tiles to form a single seamless image and assign the projection of the first tile to maintain consistency, especially important for working in meters, which aligns with our building height data. Then, we extract the building underscore height band. To visualize the heights, we apply a color palette ranging from deep blue to red, representing low to high buildings, respectively. We center the map on our area of interest and display the building height layer. Now we add terrain elevation using the FABDOM dataset from the GEE Community Catalog. FABDOM provides an improved global elevation model. We mosaic the elevation tiles and select the terrain band. By adding the terrain elevation to the building heights, we generate a digital surface model, or DSM. This model represents the total height from ground to building top. Now, we export the clipped building height raster and building DSM as GeoTIFF files. Although the native resolution is 0.5 meters, we set the export scale to 4 meters, which reflects the dataset's effective resolution. Moving forward, we extract building footprints. We load the Open Buildings version 3 polygons dataset, which provides global building outlines but has no temporal data. To integrate time-based information, we intersect these polygons with our previously created building height mosaic. We use reduce regions to extract building presence and building height statistics for each polygon. To ensure accuracy, we filter the polygons to include only those with a building presence score greater than 0.5. Next, we reproject the filtered polygons to match the raster projection. Then, we define and rename the properties we want to keep, in this case, building area in meters and building height, 
making them compatible for shapefile export. We then export the polygons as a shapefile with height attributes, ready for GIS use. Finally, we add a visual legend panel on the map for easier interpretation. This legend includes five color categories, each representing a different height range, from 0 to 50 meters. And that wraps up our workflow. We've successfully extracted building heights, terrain elevation, and building footprints with height values, all using freely available datasets and Google Earth Engine. You can adjust this script for any year from 2013 to 23, and apply it to any city or country of interest. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like the video, subscribe to Geospatial Analysis, and leave a comment with your area of interest or any questions. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.